most common question any YouTuber probably gets asked is how much do they make off YouTube? Now before I say anything guys, or start anything, I want to apologise for the sound of my voice, I've got a really awful cold, it's the sort of cold where, you know, one of your nostrils is completely clogged up and you just can't get rid of it, you and yourself feel alright, um, look at these quick scopes here, I'm going in with this sniper, I thought I'd upload this gameplay for you guys because it's fairly recent and I went in with the sniper and parts on this map hijacked, awesome for sniping, I'd recommend you guys to use the DSR because you get fewer hit markers like that, wallbang as well, I was just going in here and then I die and got a little bit of a dry run, but I'm going to start off by telling you guys immediately that in this video I will not state exactly how much I get paid, but I'm going to tell you guys, because in my um, McJugger Nuggets fake videos, there have now been two of them, often people have said, God, it's so much to repay, I don't know, a, a broken PlayStation 3 or 4. Say he gets, I don't know, 100, no, say he gets 500,000 views a video. Most people would think, oh my God, that some people would think, oh my God, 500,000 views, that's like 5,000 pounds, that's like $5,000. Well, let me just stop you there and say, no, it ain't. Um, for example, in the Christmas when Lizard Squad were around, um, I'm going to give you guys one example, not going to name any videos. There was one day where I got over 200,000 views in one day. Okay, now that equaled around £110, but that was also including views on that particular day that I got for other videos and in the week after. So that's going to give you guys a little hint. Um, there are often people out there who think that you get, you know, well, one dollar for every one thousand views, or ten dollars for every one thousand views. That's completely false. Let me also start by saying, guys, you need a YouTube partnership, and many YouTube partnerships start you off by giving you sixty percent of your earnings. What that means is, however much you make, you get sixty percent. Your partnership net YouTube gets like one percent. Your partnership network gets the other forty percent. Now, for me at the moment, I'm still partnered with Forella Digital. I've been with them for two years now, and my contract ends with them next March, and then I will be leaving. But I've had no bad experiences with them. If you guys, uh, they've actually broken up now, not broken up. They've now formed a new network called, I believe it's Dropback TV. That's one of their networks uh, under the Forella Digital name. Um, but I was originally partnered with Crisis TV, and I still am, but they're not accepting any other members because they're, they're, it's not that they're full. It's just that they've, you know, laid off a few employees and so on, so they, there aren't enough people to support you. So I've been earning 80% of my earnings on YouTube, which is pretty good. I've never made just 60% or 70%, I've always been getting 80%. Now the highest rev share, you'll never ever get 100% rev share. The highest rev share you'll probably see with a YouTube um, partnership network will be around 85-90%. to 90%. Any YouTube partnership network promising 95% rev share, it's not that they're fake, it's just that they're going to be very untrustworthy, it's not too legitimate at all. So you get 80% of your earnings, so even if you get, uh, say, on average, 1,000 views, probably around $8 or so, roughly around that, um, say you got that, um, you'd actually get 80% of that, so you would not get that for $8, you've always got to remember that. So for me, for example, YouTube's a great way for pocket money, it's nothing to fund a console or whatever. During the Christmas where Lizard Squad were around, where my channel gained, gained over 1 million views, I'm just going to put it out here now, I guess it was enough to buy myself a brand new television for my room. But I don't like spe get, you know, getting money into my bank account, spending it immediately, I'm a person who saves it, so I save it, save it, save it. Any advanced supply drop opening videos I've done, for example, again I'm not telling you guys how much I make because I think it's wrong to, uh, that has been funded by YouTube, yes that is correct, but it's not only YouTube, remember you also have partnership things, so I'm going to be true with you guys, my Cinch Gaming partnership for as an example, um, for each sale through their thing, I think for each controller sale, I get uh, 5 Cinch Gaming sponsorship points, now in total I've got over 110 Cinch Gaming sponsorship points, and any shirts or apparel like that, or clothing or merchandise or whatever from their site that's not controllers, that equals 2 points. So I've got over, I think, 112 points now from them, and basically what that does is they don't just give you a cash out sum, they put a price on it. So they will say 50 points will give yourself a Cinch Gaming PS4 controller, and you can do certain, you know, certain things on it. So I've you know, I've bought myself from them, or not bought myself, but redeemed my points for two PS4 controllers, one of which I'm using now, and the other one I use as a spare for when friends come around or whatever. I just use that as a spare, but I also use that for other games. So I've got my one Call of Duty one, and then the other one, which is really awesome, put a picture on Twitter, at 7421boss, link in the description as always, um, and I put a picture of that on there as well. But YouTube money changes. So you might say, 
I don't know, on average, no, this isn't me, but somebody might say, or you might ask them, how much do you get paid of YouTube? It completely depends. It's not done on subscribers. It's not done on likes. It's not done on comments. It is only purely done on views. But you also have to remember that YouTubers such as PewDiePie and so on and LEA will have loads of sponsorships. They'll get flown out to these events for free, such as E3 or Gamescom or whatever. So they get a lot more than just that YouTube money. But in, you know, finishing off, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, Cod. It really does sound awful, I know. I'll try to get rid of it as best I can soon. To finish it off, for every, say on average a day, I think I get around five and a half to six thousand views. That does not equal six dollars, or that does not equal twelve dollars, that doesn't equal twenty-four dollars. It changes day by day, because one day you might get six thousand three hundred views, the next day you might get ten views. You never ever know, you don't know if you upload a video and it could get twenty million views. Equally, you don't know, you don't know if you upload a video, it can get, you know, twenty views. On average, if I upload a video, I can pretty much guarantee that it will get over that 301 view number. So if you work it out, on average, I, work, I upload one video a day, comment down below how much you think roughly I get a day. But it's not honestly a lot of money. It's not 20 quid a day. It's nothing like that. Yes, there have been days when I've got really big numbers for whatever reason. But those days are so slim and small that I just use YouTube as a way to save it as pocket money. Yes, I've bought a TV with it. Yes, I've gained subscribers and views and so on, therefore companies have approached me and asked if I can join their network or whatever. Um, a few companies such as Fullscreen have asked me if I can join them and I can get even more money, but I'm not about that. It, a company two days ago, it was a branch of Freedom, not Freedom themselves, but it was a branch off them. Um, they're brand new and they offered me 92% rev share um, in exchange for this, they called it a fancy new dashboard and customer support and I said, Okay, I, I did a Skype call with the guy, um, his name is Jack, and I asked him, uh, okay, what do my viewers get out of it? And he said, well, what do you mean by that? I said, well, are you going to, you know, support me if I want to do a giveaway on it or whatever? He said, no, we're not about that, and I hung up immediately. I said, thank you for your time, um, I will, I said to him, I'll call you back. But Jack, if you're watching, there's not going to be a callback, because it's for my subscribers I do it. I don't care, I, I would rather get 60% rev share and they allow me to do a giveaway or they'll give me a product to do a giveaway for. Because obviously YouTube's a massive investment and I think with all the consoles and games and so on, you know, you're looking at three or four, five thousand pounds and have I got all of that money back yet? I'm not gonna say. But YouTube is a great way for spare cash. Um, it's, for me, it will never be a full-time job, it will never be my, you know, my annual salary. It's just a great, great way for me to get some pocket money so if I want to simple thing is go down to the shops and buy a football, I can do that knowing that I've actually made that money from having fun at making videos for you guys. But hope you guys enjoyed my honesty in the video, let me know down below what you think as always. To, in comparison guys, for McJugnuggets, if he gets around 1.5 million views a video, say he gets around 80% rev share, you're looking at over £200 there, put it that way. So yes, he can of course fund everything that he breaks. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down below what you think as always, and I'll see you guys over on the next one. But if you close your eyes